deep breath. Part one, loving revolution and the new white people. I take a deep breath. As I teach you to think, to feel, to do, vulnerable explosions, paralyzing truths. My black body is not disposable. I am not your Negro, and fuck, I am not your minority. I am a member of the global majority, a woman of African descent, a black mother in America. So this white obsession with black death, demonizing of darkness, this shit, it hits different. I take a deep breath as I process my response to your request to diversify your white world. God forbid anti-racist work becomes a new whitewash diversity filled with spirit murdering domains. Black body property mentality remains even recycled. So don't. Don't tell me you want to diversify your board, your program, your event, your place. Are you ready for our brilliance? Or you just want black bodies in the space? Tell me you have examined the existing white supremacist cultural elements of disgrace. Tell me you are engaged and committed to anti-racist practices, interrupting social hierarchies as a base. Tell me you are eager to listen and invest in ideas and ways of thinking, being breathing outside of what you can trace. I take a deep breath. As I witness the evolution of different kinds of white people, so what kind of white people are you? Are you the kind of white people of the old white way, explicitly dangerous day after day? Or are you regular white people, a meritocratic myth, silent, privileged, complacent, a shut door? You who carry a false sense of superiority, you are just as dangerous, if not more. I take a deep breath. As I recognize that some of these new white people are just anti-Trump at the core, I'll take it. The statements, the white woke offs, receipts galore. As dark people, you can count on us to revolt. You can count on us to resist. But eradicating racism is ultimately up to the racist. Some of these new white folks have already been down. Ally graduates from long ago, white comrades on the front lines, even raising their babies to know. The Ashas, the Munas, Annabelles, and Indigos, a new kind of white people. I'm watching go, watching know, truths untold. Conditioned to sing, scream, shout, and feel black joy, a completely different kind of white people. The new white people know that they are being lied to, that they are taught to fear blackness. The new white people know that their superiority is a myth, allowing space for humanity at last. Regular white people and people of the old white way, y'all are outdated. Even the new white people have no patience for your ass. Loving revolution and these new white people. I take a deep breath. Part two, loving blackness religiously. I take a deep breath. As I honor specificity unapologetically, black girl femme bliss, oh, the melanated magic you bring into every space you enter. Alchemy of black girlhood face to face with this pandemic. Lethal consequences of white supremacy evidenced by COVID and police, both killing us very differently. Say her name, honor specificity unapologetically. Brianna Taylor, Sandra Bland, Ayana Jones, Tanisha Anderson, Rakia Boyd, Rhea Milton, Remy Fells. Say the names that aren't said, stories unread, silenced, overlooked, unarmed, murdered, black cis and trans women and girls. I take a deep breath. I take a deep breath. As I sort through these limited political options, all I can think about is the black girls I'd like to hand pick to replace these politicians with next. Fantasize a new society where all of our black bodies are in fact safe, creative potential protected. 
A new society. Rebuild the Tulsas, Rosewoods, Beacon Hills, and Congo Squares. Oh, the magic we make simply by touch. Black is bold, beautiful, brilliant, and such. I take a deep breath as I honor my ancestors, spiritual guides, black women of Ithaca, community mothers. Mama Scott, Sandra Washington, Diane Sams, Beverly J. Martin, Dr. Dorothy Cotton. You left a blueprint, specific methodology, a formula for modeling true compassion for humanity. You left a blueprint, specific methodology, a formula for liberating black people. You left a blueprint, specific methodology, a formula for loving thyself and blackness religiously. I take a deep breath. Part three, loving thyself radically. I take a deep breath. As I stand naked in the forest, body stretched three times, marks of deep love. Like a golden branch, brown sugar, cinnamon sparkled crevices. Root chakra balance, blossom, ready to receive, achieve, north star, grounded and grateful. I take a deep breath. As I get loved up with fierce abundance, prosperity, still. Black girl in own circles, a divine disruption. But you, such gratitude. Janine Staples, Koya Webb, Lauren Ash, intentional curations, blueprints for healing and expansion. A hunger and a feeding, intense spiritual downloads, awakening a black femme tradition. A creator honored, aligned higher self. Ancestors speak just. Listen, I take a deep breath as I sit by my creek, zone of serenity, sun salutations, deep pigeon poses bring tears, intuition speaks, just listen, worth genuinely proclaimed, higher vibration, revolutionary, supreme love, an orgasmic life, an orgasmic journey in Loving thyself radically.